Hello everybody, welcome back to Star Realms Campaign Mode with Excalibur, that's me, and we are jumping back into Chapter 3 Betrayal to take on the boss. This is mission number 22 overall called Royal Bounty. A fleet of bounty hunters is coming for you. Crush them before they can collect. In addition to your family's fleet, Sardius also controls your family's treasury. Now he's using that wealth to put a bounty of cosmic proportions on your head. Let's accept this mission and see if we can survive the hunters in the boss mode. Alright, now we're going to see here. We're starting. Let's take a look at we have. We can discard for two extra and draw two cards. So those are our gambits. So with three here, I don't think we need to buy anything extra. We're just going to play all and grab that battle pod so that we can uh, scrap some extra cards and not have to worry about it. If I threw anything in, nope, 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 we're done there. Let's end turn and we'll have four this next time, which we're going to buy that star market, I think. Uh-oh, an Imperial fighter has joined their side. Let's play all. Now, we're going to go ahead and do this so that we can just grab the flagship without hesitation. And do one point of damage to them. And we're going to end turn. And we're going to end up discarding because, well, they've got that discard thing there. We're going to get rid of the Viper. There we go. We're going to play all, and I think what we need to do, let's take a look at this card. We can gain five or three, and I think that's good. And let's draw two extra cards, which helps us so we can get that second trade pod. We're going to use a blob against Sardius's forces. And using the blob is awesome. Oh, a battle pod joined him. Great. So let's get there. We're going to draw a card. We're going to scrap something. We've got one, two, three total. So let's go ahead and scrap the freighter. Oh, yeah, that's fine. So we're going to have three total. We're going to buy that Merc Cruiser. We're going to get mercenaries against the bounty hunters. And we're going to smack them for ten. We'll see how long and how well we can last. They're pulling out blob fighters and stuff. So let's get this guy out there. And when we play everything, we're going to have five to purchase with. Oh boy, let's go ahead and we can go to Royal Redoubt, but I'm going to get Mech World. And I'm going to give us five health and then do the one point of damage to him. He's gonna start healing, but we're gonna take care of that here in a second as soon as we get the five from the flagship. We're gonna have to discard one of these guys. Yeah, it's fine. So let's get rid of this scout. There we go. Get that guy out there, get some health, and we will go ahead and get that out there. Let's use Blob because we already have some really fun stuff there. Grab that ram, get some extra damage. We are going to get rid of that. We don't want him gaining life at all. And end turn. Hopefully the AI won't take out the star market. Okay, mech world is gonna go out and we're gonna get these blobs out there. Now let's see here, we're going to have a total of four, possibly up to six. Um, let's not, let's not scrap anything. Let's play the rest. And we are definitely going to pick up that Imperial Fighter. We want the discard ability of that. Battle Station would be wonderful. And that was actually pretty nice. So let's grab the health. Keep us in the, in the mix there. And we'll smack him in the face. 
Now he's got to do at least six, which he will easily do with the blobs and stuff that he has. There we go. And Mech World's going to go to the bye bye side of things. Alright, I have three to purchase with. Ah, uh, let's see here. I will buy the fighter and an explorer. So let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. He does not need that defense center. Blob Fighter. Ooh, Federation Shuttle. Oh, I found my weakness. And five to that. Finally went to that, and we are done. Okay, he's going to be discarding, so that's good. And we're going to be discarding. Let's get rid of, say, this Viper here. I'm not, no, let's... That would be three, four, five. Five total. Anything worth five? What's this here? That's four total. Okay. Oh, we have to discard two. So get rid of this guy and that guy. I want the rest. Get that out there. Force him to discard. And we'll do this. So with four instead, I think what would be best is to grab the destroyer. And we don't have enough to do anything. He's going to be getting three per turn now. This is not going to be fun. Battle Station will help us for a minute. Oh, no. He's got 17 damage on the board. We won't be able to survive. So, we're going to have to work our buns off. Let's get that five. Get that out there. And then these guys. We don't have enough still. Hmm. Well, I want that frigate. And if we scrap this, it'll be enough to get rid of that, but then we're not going to have any defense. So, I'm going to have to end turn. Hopefully, we'll be able to survive. Nope. There we go. <laughs> we had to just... Man, that was not fun. Let's go back in there. Let's see what we can do. Bosses are not the easiest things in the world. So with three, we can get a yacht. With five, we can get a yacht and a Corvette. Little red Corvette. And the yacht. And I'm going to go ahead and just go all out, which is exactly what I needed to get the blob fighter as well and that was it I'm gonna get an attack to let's see what what does he get an Imperial fighter okay let's play all we can only get this guy here and then we do two to him we are evened and we're gonna have to discard we're discarding a scout of course and let's just play everything and we'll go ahead and go up to five. We need some protection. Yep. So let's let's try and stick to the aggro as much as we can. What does he get this time? He gets a battle pod. Okay. Let's draw a card. Alright, not much we can do. And what does this guy do? So if you have two or more bases, we don't. Let's play the rest. That gives us five total. I think for five we would do very well to grab this guy here. And grab this here. And do that. Hopefully we'll get something. Yep, yeah, Battle Station comes out. That'll at least give us a little bit of uh, protection. Survey ship, or eh, we'll get the trading post. That's probably the better bet of everything. We could have gotten the Corvette. Let's see if he does it. Oh, he can't do any damage to us. Excellent, excellent. Get that out there. And play the rest. Draw two cards, exactly what I wanted to see. Now a six. Six is pretty good. We're going to grab that battle blob. I'm going to scrap that for eight. 
I'm not going to scrap these guys. Pachow. So he needs to do 9 total damage. He'll probably get it. And we're going to be doing 2 discards. And he got 9 total damage. So let's discard these guys. And see what we can get. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. So with three, we are going to go ahead and get that. We're going to choose the coin so that we can get the cutter. And we're going to send the one point of damage his way and end our turn. That's going to go away pretty quick. Yep, there it goes. We're going to be taking four at least. And we're going to get rid of the viper. Alright, with 9 we're going to get rid of that supermarket and then hit him with the rest. And 2 we get one of these guys. Because we need as much combat as possible and as much purchase power as possible. Discarding, we are definitely going to discard the scout. And get this guy out there, play the rest. We've got at least 3 damage on him and we have 2 purchase power. We're going to go ahead and grab that other coin to grab the Federation shuttle and another one of these guys. Three on him and we'll end turn. Eighteen. So we're going to be taking 16 points of damage here. Getting that back and playing the rest. I don't think it's really worth getting rid of that yet. We're going to grab the carrier and yeah we'll go ahead and smack him and what does the breeding site do if you played a base gain five that's where he got most of his attack from all right we've got two bases coming and a couple of draw cards if we can keep from well we at least lost half half of our life there we go there's that there's that let's draw let's draw let's battle blob get the others out so 19 we have to take this guy out oh that was interesting what does this guy do if you played a base draw a card and that's gain five so we've I could gain five more that would put me at 20 leaving 13 for this Five plus four nine that puts me up at um, 24 and that's all I can do this turn how much what do I have left in the deck Oof. I've only got one purchase power I'm not buying anything so let's let's do it I know it's a gamble. It's a gamble. We're going to get rid of this. We have to, and then put the rest on him. And then we're going to end turn and hope that we get something good. Well, seven. Seven's not bad. He's only doing six, 11, 16, 12. We're defeated again. Ah, ha, ha. Let's see if we can do better. So we could definitely use four. We're going to do that. We're going to grab the space station. Yeah, freighters we can skip. And we'll go ahead and draw two more cards. So we're going to have a total of five purchase. Yep. And yeah. And two on him. And then we get five. Yeah, he took the fighter. I think we're going to go for another space station, but I think the barter world would be better. And we're done. That was just a purchase turn. Hooray, and here comes another purchase turn. Play all. For four, we're grabbing this guy. Doing one to him, and hopefully we can keep ahead of this. 
All right, so what's this guy do? If I played a base, including this one, I may scrap a card in my hand or discard pile. So let's go ahead and scrap the Viper. Go ahead and do that. It's a star market. Let's go ahead. If we grab the three, yeah, I'm going to grab the three and play the rest. That gives us a little bit more. So with five, we can get the Embassy Yacht, and we can get the Explorer, and we can ping him for one a point. There we go. Hopefully we can keep going. That's going to be enough to get rid of Fortress Oblivion. And we'll just play all of these. That gives us a little bit of wiggle room. We don't have enough for six, though. So let's grab the Screecher and the Imperial Fighter. And then we can't do any damage whatsoever. End the turn. Embassy Yacht is going to help a lot. <laughs> Seven. We could grab that or the battle cruiser, which I like better. The command ship would have been nice. And sacrificing this guy at this point would be worthless. Let's end the turn. Okay, so we're starting to get a little bit more protection out there. All right, there's that. And that will allow us to get five health or three purchase. And that's going to be one, two, five. Let's see what we have here first. And I may sack up to five cards and the command row. So I hate to do this. We're going to get rid of this, 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 and this. I think the destroyer is going to be a good purchase. And we're going to grab the three for Star Market. But Battle Barge is better. I'm, I'm sorry, it just is. We need to get rid of that. And I think that's all we can do this turn. Stealth Needle. Joy. Fortress Oblivion. Now, we're going to have to take a look at what we can do. Let's play all these out here before it tells us to. See how much money we have. And we can go ahead and do this and activate ally abilities. So we've got 8 attack power. And 7 purchase. We can go for 10 purchase. But I think Battle Blob is going to be good. And yes, we're going to go for this and get the recycling station. We're not going to sack, but we are going to use this guy's ability to go through and get rid of useless cards. Get rid of the starters. Hit him. I'm okay with the one. I should not have done that. Ah, uh, nuts. Let's do an extra two to him. And then end turn. Ah, oh, he has the arc. So six. We'll get rid of one of these guys. Eleven's going to get rid of both of these guys. Fourteen's going to hit everything all around. All right, so at least we have this. Then the Federation shuttle goes out. Then this guy goes out. We play the rest. So we have nine. We have to hit this thing because we don't want his blob allies to get anything at all. We're not going to sack that because that's really good right now. We are going to grab this guy. We're going to grab this guy. And we're going to grab that guy. Yep, 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 yep. And what's his ability? Draw a card, destroy target base. We don't need that ability yet. 
Okay, space station, recycling station. And he got rid of that because he didn't want me getting life. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Return target base. Uh, you better... Well, let's see what this guy does. Uh, we're going to select the space station. It's going to return, and then we're going to play it again. Adding the 16. We're going to put this guy out there. And we're going to put that out there. That's not going to do anything. This is, or discard up to two cards and draw that many cards. We're going to go ahead and grab the one. We don't have cards to discard. So at 24, we're not going to do a whole lot of damage to him. But with the two, we can get that cutter. This is not an easy one. So 24 to him is a big, big, big hit, and he's discarding. So hopefully we can use the stuff against him, and he can't do anything to us this turn. Excellent. Target opponent discards. We're going to gain some and draw two. Of course. Scrap up to five. We're going to have... Cancel. We're going to activate this. Discard two and draw two. Okay, well, I can uh, play that. There we go. And then I'm going to not do anything else. We'll put this guy out. Now we're going to have five total purchase power. And I want the survey ship, but I want the Merc Cruiser. Let's keep the recycling station, though. That's going to be more important overall. If we don't get anything good, we got the recycling station we can purchase. I'm going to play, activate this. We're just going to uh, select none. There we go. Put the rest out like so for five I think the Ram yeah and the Explorer are the better bets we have 13 we can't do any more damage than that he's discarding so he's gonna have less to do damage to me and we're gonna be causing him to discard again and I'm gonna be discarding so Let's get rid of a scout. So how much damage is that? 10 to his 11. We're going to have to scrap to draw a card. Hopefully get... There we go. And we have enough. Woo! Win with cards of only three or less factions in your deck. Win with cards of only two or less factions. And win with cards of only one faction. We didn't do any of those, I don't think. We had all four factions. So, we beat them. Ho, ho, ho. We have defeated Chapter 3 Betrayal. Next time, we're going to be hitting Chapter 4, which is Final Gambit. We'll see exactly what goes on in that next time. So, thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And as always, this is Excalibur, and I am out.